We're looking at lead code number 107, binary trees level order traversal 2. This is very, very similar to binary tree level order traversal 1, which is also a solution in this playlist. Highly recommend checking that out uh, if you haven't already. We're going to use a very similar pattern and just do a slight modification to solve this problem. So here we're given a root of a binary tree. We want to return the bottom up level order traversal of its node values from left to right by level from leaf to root. So here we have 3, 9, 20, 15, and 7, and we just want to do level 0 at the end, level 1 in the middle, and level 2 at the, at the beginning. Okay, we have constraints, the number of nodes in the tree is 0 to 2,000, and the values is minus 1,000 to 1,000. Okay, so we're just going to use a, a level order traversal template that I'm using in many other uh, problem sets in this playlist, and uh, we're just going to make a slight modification at the end. So the way we want to think about this is we want to we want to use a queue data structure uh, to solve this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take whatever's in our root, and we're going to initialize it with that value into our queue. Okay, so we're going to put this three into our queue initially. Now you can see that when we start this, we're going to start an outer while loop and an inner while loop. While there is something in the queue, okay, so while our queue is not empty, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to store the length of that queue into a variable. So right now the length would be 1. And now you can see that whatever is initialized in there, that is the level. At the 0th level, we have this 3. So all we have to do is just take that, take whatever's in the queue, uh, scan it, put it into an array, and then push that subarray into the uh, result array. So here we're just going to put in 3 into our result. Okay. Now we're going to have an inner while loop, which is going to run the number of times that we have in our length. So we'll just decrement length on each iteration. And there what we'll do is we'll pull out, pull out this 3 here out of the queue. And we're going to push into back into the queue if there's anything on the left of that node or anything on the right of that node. So on the left, we have a 9, and on the right, we have a 20. And we're only doing one iteration, and so we break out of that inner loop, and now we're back in the uh, outer loop. Okay. Now when we get back in the outer loop here, what we're going to do is update our length to whatever the length of the queue is, which is uh, 2. Okay. We're going to take whatever's in our queue at this point and scan it and uh, push that into our result. So we're going to take uh, 9 and 20 put that into an array, a subarray, and push that subarray into our result array. Okay, this is the work we're going to do in the outer loop. Now we're going to go into the inner loop and we're going to uh, we're going to run two two inter, uh, iterations of the inner loop. Okay, we're decrementing level on each each iteration. So on each iteration we're going to pull out the 9, the the uh, node at the at the beginning. And we're going to see if there's any children in there. There's no children in there. We move on. We pull out this 20, and we see if there's any children. There is. There's a left of 15 and a right of 7. We push those into the queue. And now we break out of this inner while loop and go back into our outer. Okay? And you can see here in our queue we have the correct, uh, the correct values we need for that level. So we go ahead and take a copy of that. 15 and 7, scan it, push it in the outer, uh, push it in the outer result. Now we take the length of this, which is 2, okay, and because there's no children, there's nothing to do. We pull off this 15, there's no children, the 7, there's no children, and so now our queue is empty and we break out of this outer while loop. And you can see here we have the correct result. Okay. Now what is our time and space complexity on this? Well, there are two while loops, so it might be tempting to think that we are running a, a quadratic time complexity here, but we're not actually. Okay, We're only going over each element once. We're not going over each element more than once. So even though we're, we're, we have two loops here, because we're doing it by length, level by level, it's still linear. Okay, so our time complexity is O of n. What about space complexity? 
Well, we do have this queue that we're, that we're creating some um, auxiliary space here, but we're returning this result, okay? And this, this result is just all the values of whatever is in our tree. And it's relative to the size of the tree in a linear way. So, you know, if this tree is equal to uh, five, then the result will also be five. So uh, this is also going to be O of n on space. Okay. Now the last thing we have to do, uh, actually forgot to mention, is we want to just reverse this. So at the end, we just want to do a dot reverse, and that will give us our correct answer. Because um, uh, with this, we're doing it backwards. We have 15, 7, 9, 20, and 3, and so here we just want to go ahead and just run one reverse operation at the end, which is also just an N operation. So it's not going to change the time or space complexity. Okay, so let's jump into the code. First, what we want to do is just take care of our edge case. If root is empty, we just want to return an empty array. We want to initialize our queue. And we're going to set this to root. Or we're going to uh, have set this to an array with root in it. And then we're going to initialize our result and set it to an empty array. Now we'll go ahead and create our outer while loop. Okay, so while there's something in the queue, we want to save our len of whatever the size of the queue is. And we want to scan whatever's in the queue and push that into the result. So we just want to do a result.push q.map node node.val reason we're doing this is because the queue is going to have the nodes in it but the result needs the values and that's why we're going to map through the queue make a copy of it but just with the values okay so now we'll go ahead and create our inner loop we'll just do len minus minus all this is doing is just decrementing len on each iteration and when it hits zero it'll coerce to falsy and and it'll break out of that loop Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll pull out our node from the queue. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to check if node.left, then we want to push that into the queue. Okay, and then we want to do the same thing for right. Okay, and then lastly, we just want to reverse the result. Okay, and that should do it. Yep. Okay, and we're good. So that is Leak Code 107, Binary Tree Level Order Traversal 2. It's the exact same thing as the Level Order Traversal 1, except we're just reversing it at the end. Same exact pattern. And check out the other videos in this playlist. Uh, if, if this still doesn't make sense, uh, I'm using the same pattern, same template for solving all of these level order traversal type questions. Uh, it's a good way to kind of solidify this pattern. That way, if you ever see it out in the wild, uh, it's, it becomes very easy to solve. Okay, hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all on the next one.